I just wanted to ask, there's obviously been a lot of um, talk on social media about the amenities there with the food and the um, weight room. I just wanted to know what your experience has been so far and if you have any thoughts on the food and just kind of how you just give your take on that. Either one of you. No. <laughs> um, the food, like, it hasn't been too bad. I know I've seen the pictures on social media. Um, our food hasn't looked like that or anything. So the food's been fine. Um, our stay has been fine. The hotel is cool. Everything has gone smoothly since we've been here. So I don't think we've had problem with any of that. Although the, the weight room is ridiculous, as y'all saw. But. Was last night the first night you were able to get down there or check it out? Yeah, we had practice last night, so that was our first time to, you know, see it in person. <laughs> so, obviously, when you saw it, it was pretty eye-opening. Yeah, it definitely is eye-opening, you know. Um, just seeing the guys' weight room, we've been fighting for, you know, gender equality for a while now, and that just goes to show that we have a lot of work to do. Um, uh, and I'm calling out NCAA, like, that there's no excuse for that and it's unacceptable and they need to do better. Um, I mean, what are we going to do with five pound dumbbells and the guys have luxury of a whole weight room? Um, it's unfortunate. Thank you. Alexa. Hey guys, how was it like to actually have to quarantine for the two days? And then when you finally got on the practice court, it seemed like CD was really pleased with the intensity level that you all brought. Um, what did you see from that too, just once you were actually able to get on the court? Um, for us, I think it was, it was a, um, a good a good workout, good time period for us, especially considering we hadn't been able to work out for, you know, the past uh, essentially three days, you know, quarantining and traveling and whatnot. So it was good to just kind of get out there, uh, kind of get moving again, going over our stuff and uh, just continue to prepare for High Point coming up. All right, Roger. For either one of you or both of you, Coach has talked about uh, a different maturity that he can see in this team. Can you just talk about the growth this team has shown this year in terms of maturity? Yeah, I think, um, you know, regardless of the circumstances, we've kind of been uh, have had a force to uh, mature and, and kind of adjust to, you know, what's been thrown our way. Um, we really had no other option. But I think, you know, as a team, we're continuing to grow, um, especially, you know, on and off the court in, in ways like that. And I think it's pretty evident, especially this this second half of the season. Um, so that's something that we're just continuing to build and, and, and kind of grow on. Pat, both of you, but Kristen, if you could if you could start, um, what's been the biggest difference between this season and and uh, the first NCAA tournament? Does it even feel like an NCAA tournament to, to you guys? What do you miss most about? having everybody there um and do you think it's it's good for the freshmen that they don't know what they're missing yeah i mean i i think it's good for the freshmen um obviously it sucks because they don't know what it usually is like but because they've, they've never experienced like an actual tournament um but i mean it's different uh we we usually have our coach here you know like that's the biggest difference and we're stuck in our rooms you know, usually we can, you know, go out to the hotel or whatever. It's just um, different things due to COVID and the protocols that we have. Um, but we're making the best of it, and we're we're doing well um, just handling everything that's thrown at our way. So it is what it is. We're just happy to be here to play, honestly. Dan? Hey, guys, for – both of you, uh, what can you say about your video director, Ben? Um, what's he like, and then what's it like having him helping out as an assistant coach? Mm -hmm. You want me to answer? Um, ben, ben is great. Um, he's the, <laughs> he talks 
a lot of shit. He's competitive. Um, I, He's com- very competitive. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's great to have him on our staff. Um, and he does a great job um, and whatever he is thrown at him. And we're happy to have him. Yeah, I think he's definitely made uh, the most in terms of helping us this season, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, with his film and what he kind of puts together off the court and then even just stepping on with us and going up and down. Like, it's definitely not easy, especially for somebody that um, isn't doing that consistently. So for him to, you know, step out there and help us go through things and, um, you know, play scout team and just kind of be there to help us. I think it really speaks volume. So, yeah, Ben's great. Yeah, Ben's great. Alexa Kristen you obviously were speaking about the uh, inequalities before and one of the other ones that's been brought up is that you guys are taking less accurate COVID tests I guess the men on in Indianapolis are taking PCR and you guys are doing antigen and I know so far everyone's testing negative and it hasn't been an issue yet but uh, when you hear something about that um, that you guys are having less accurate COVID test, like, what do you kind of feel about that and uh, the way that the NCAA kind of didn't maybe prioritize your safety? Uh, yeah, I just saw that on social media uh, before this call. Um, and again, that's very unfortunate. I had no idea about any of that or the specifics of the test. I just know we show up, we test negative, and then <laughs> we go back to our rooms. So to hear that is kind of mind blowing. Um, just especially because of the whole COVID and, you know, it, it's mind blowing. I, I don't really have anything else to say though. So. Yeah. All right, we'll go to Pat. And both of you talk about what the biggest difference is between a practice run by uh, your coach and a practice run by CD. And um, uh, how much interaction have you had with, with Gino? How often does he zoom into you guys? And um, how has that been? Um, there's not really much of a difference. There's still the same expectations, you know, in terms of level of intensity and effort. And so that's on us to, to bring every practice. Um, in terms of just talking with coach, we were able to talk with him last night. Um, after practice and he seems to be doing fine um he's healthy and so we're just looking forward for him to to come up as soon as possible he said he was watching uh practice was he was he actually like coaching when you were on the video call or was it just more about how he's doing and when he can rejoin you or was he actually breaking down some of the things you did in practice no i believe he was just watching but you know we were able to talk uh with him afterwards so that was nice Doug? Just um, curious, more of a general question. Obviously, you've been having to quarantine. Um, what have you been doing besides basketball? It's just a lot of schoolwork and trying to, you know, stay busy or what? just what's that been like? Yeah, definitely a lot yeah. of work. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. trying to trying to stay on top of our class, especially considering you know we're all online. Um, so that's that's been the the biggest priority outside of you know basketball and and um, safe quarantining. Anything else for the players? Charlotte, go ahead. Just real quickly, follow up on that. Now that. How are you guys able to do anything kind of fun in the off time besides focus on schoolwork or able to do and basketball? Just any? Uh, we play cards and we play Uno. <laughs> uh, CD has our activity for us. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. CD our our little uh, Texas showdown stuff, you know, our little game. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she she you know, does a great job of. You know, uh, having us, you know, have little activities and fun things to do, especially on the road like this. So. 